Hi everyone, it's Michelle Schlieper. It's good good to be seen by you all, or good to see you. Um, I wanted to thank everyone um, for coming to visit me. I wanted to celebrate my 500 subscribers. Hooray! And um, I I want to do a giveaway, but I'll talk about more talk more about that later. Wanted to show you a few finished objects and a work in progress. Um, this is my virus shawl I made with the cranberry ki uh, cranberry crisp um, Karen cake, and I really like it. It's nice and warm. Then this hat is a divine beanie in um, the one of the harvest colorways. Um, reminds me of autumn leaves. Um, from I Love This Yarn. Um, both of these are four weight. And um, then I wanted to show you, I finished my uh, Ridge Beanie in the Radical Botanical um, Burnett Pop. I also made another Ridge Beanie in the Hot Chocolate. Those will probably um, be no donations um, for the rescue mission in Milwaukee. And also I made, um, this one I had gotten two skeins of the Soft Secrets yarn um, from Hobby Lobby on clearance. Uh, Summer from so, um, Summer's Tips and Stitches had said uh, that the Hobby Lobby in Oshkosh had some yarn on clearance a couple months back. And so I ran up there and I had gotten two skeins of this black. I doubled up the strands and this is a nice beanie. It feels really soft and it is, it's going to be warm. It's mostly double crochets with a half double crochet brim. And for my works, oh, one more uh, finished object. I made this headband in the Woolies and I um, made a little buttonhole with a button and I think it turned out pretty well. It's very warm. Um, so then for a work in progress, I'm working on some um, lamp blank lap blankets for Edna. And this is um, four weight yarn. It's from Loops and Threads, um, impeccable. And um, I have three skeins of it, so this was how much I got out of the first skein. It's the um, brick stitch, I believe. Um, so I'm going to finish that up and uh, send a couple uh, Edna's way over at Granny Crafter's Crochet. So um, then for the... A 500 subscriber ra random act of happy mail. Um, please leave me a message um, as to what you're making on the on these cold weather days, or if you're in Australia, what you're making for the for the upcoming um, warmer days, and uh, leave me a comment in the uh, comment section, and I will draw the winner for. The Random Act of Happy Mail um, next Saturday morning, the um, 16th of November. So um, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for um, liking and subscribing to my videos. And thank you um, for sharing me if possible. Uh, I really want to... Um, grow and I'm really appreciative of it, all your support and I am so thankful to get to this uh, level um, of subscribers and I hope I can um, keep working hard at um, showing you finished objects, works in progress and helping out others to grow their channels. Um, I um, was excited the other day because I got notification that the Canadian Crotcheter had subscribed to my channel and I was fangirling all over the place. <laughs> so, I have loved her since she started doing videos, so I was so, so thrilled 
that she has subscribed. Um, that's the same way I felt um, when um, Rose at Rose Likes Crochet subscribed and uh, Madonna, of course, and um, so many others. Um, you know, when you're first starting out, you have you have um, these favorites that you keep watching and watching and and you always are hoping one day that you'll be able to interact with them and and it's just it's just so wonderful to um actually um, have that personal interactions at some point so uh, i wanted to thank you all for um uh, watching the video and for subscribing to me and then also want to thank you for all the all the new friendships I've made through YouTube and all the new all the friendships I'm hoping to make and I hope that um, you continue watching so have a great night